I've only just remembered to put Caden's school uniform in the dryer. Good morning. <laughs> What I eat in a day. We all know by now that these type of videos are for educational purposes only, to get some really cool recipes, and to also understand how much you can eat within a fat loss phase. It's all about consistency, sticking to your macros, and still making sure you're fueling yourself, fueling yourself enough for your training, fueling yourself enough for your mental state, your clarity, and just not to feel shit because, like I said, you want to be making a deficit um, as sustainable as possible because it's all about consistency. So aim for consistency over somewhat intensity when it comes down to your diet. Don't go all in because you're expecting the quick results. You want it to be sustainable. So as you'll see from my choices today, I'm still eating foods that I love. I'm still fueling my body. I'm still eating enough, but I'm just sticking to my calorie deficit. And obviously my deficit is going to be completely different from your guys' deficit just based on my body type. I did just get out of a build, so my maintenance calories is a lot higher just for the sheer fact that that's what it became used to, metabolic adaptation. But overall, I was super consistent and that is how I personally got the results that I wanted. Although I still have my beverages on the weekend, I still have the one-off meals out. Overall, I was consistent. And you actually find that throughout my entire fat loss journey, I did have my glass of wine every single night. Um, it's something that I personally enjoy. It's something that I wanted to make work. And although alcohol isn't the best for you, and speaking from knowledge, it's not the best when it comes down to muscle growth, but I did include it within my balanced diet, my fat loss phase, and still found results. And I like to keep it as real as possible. I like to keep my recipes what I'm actually eating, my training, what I'm actually doing. So the intensity with my training, the volume, etc. nothing changed. I still try to progressive overload. I still train weight trains, train weight, weight trains, train weights, train with weights. The only thing I did kind of add on in is my 10K steps a day. So I increased my steps. So I was probably only really roughly getting like 6K steps in my build. Probably not, probably not even like, I work from home. I wasn't tracking at all, so I'm a fellow spies, got my little Apple Watch on, you know, I'm part of the Apple Watch crew. <laughs> Fitness. And yeah, I was aiming for 10 Ks today. I do struggle with that if I don't go for my walk. So I try to get 30 minutes in and overall just feeling really, really good. As you guys seen, I have already trained. It's really just depending on how I'm feeling, whether I train fasted or I train later in the day. But I definitely prefer to train in the morning just for the sheer fact that I get it over and done with. And because our mornings are quite hectic, I try to go to the gym after school drop off and it's just, mornings can be quite busy. So obviously in the perfect world, being fueled before you train is better, but you just gotta make it work sometimes. Guys, I have been so obsessed with Blessed Protein. I've just received my new order from them. Um, I wanted to try them just for the sheer fact that I have been having a lot of whey, and although Oxy Whey and Isopep are the only whey proteins that I can have without any discomfort and just like that whey bloating feeling, um, because I'm having so much of it, I did just want to try out some plant-based protein that doesn't have the whey. Yeah, just to basically give my stomach a break from whey, I definitely do notice a difference when I am taking a bit of a break, but I definitely still, one, love the taste of protein powder, and two, need to hit my protein intake. So I've been having blessed, um, forgot how much I liked it. Like, at first I was like, oh, I'm vegan protein, like I want the gains, but darling, all the benefits are still there. Not the way. Your girl either has sweet or savory, depending on what she feels like. And today we feel sweet. I kind of just eat the same meals. And I have been having these protein pancakes. So I'll either have these or my omelette, which is in my last video. So if you want to check that out, go check it out. But these are just so simple to make. Oh, yeah, let's see. Uh-huh. 
Today is like my editing admin day, so on my lunch break, I am going to do 30 minutes on the treadmill, so that'll get my steps up for the day. So I will just sip on my fat burner slash pre-workout on the way to the gym. I'm currently loving this flavor here, so it's pink grapefruit. So yum, I do mix my creatine in with that. That is the number one supplement I'd recommend for whether it's a fat loss phase, maintenance, just overall performance in the gym, and especially muscle gain. Creatine should be your bestie. On EHP, it is called Create so I have that every single day, even on my rest days. A lot of people feel as though it will make them puffy, but it's completely not the case. It actually just holds water within your muscles, which again will help with recovery, it'll help with muscle growth, so it'll help with overall sure lean understand. gains. Siri, if you interrupt me one more time, I'm a, I'm a bee peace girl. So for dinner, I do have the same as usual. I did eat this in my last what I ate in a day, but I'm trying to keep it as realistic as possible. I have this every single night, so it's just boiled pumpkin and veggies. Um, and then I kind of rotate my protein. So I'll either have fish or chicken, and then I'll top it with this sauce, which is so good and it's super low in cal. So I have that nearly every night. Um, and then I'll end it with a sweet so I'll either have some ice cream so these are really good I'm gonna have one of these tonight or I'll have like yogurt berries peanut butter whatever fits me macros and straight after dinner every night I do have my PM so that really helps with my digestion just settling my stomach after a meal and then it also helps regulate my bowels in the morning so you know IBS sufferers you know if you know you know you literally have so much that needs to be organized I'm a shut this. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this little what I eat in a day. If you like these videos, make sure you do give it a thumbs up and follow me on my socials. I will see you within my next video. Bye.